Chris off of that. Both Kirk and the coaches did praise your spring, though, so a couple maybe things that you want back today notwithstanding, you feel like you had a good spring camp? I feel like I, I took some steps in the right direction, uh, definitely. I feel like I I took a step in, in a leadership direction. The, the one um, goal our quarterback coach, Coach Warner, gave me going into the spring was said, you need to step up and improve your leadership um, on the field this spring, make a, make a jump in that. And so that's something I focused on every every practice, kind of stepping out of my normal comfort zone and, and being more of a vocal guy out on the field. Um, I still, still have a long way to go in that area, uh, but I feel like that's an area that I've made a lot of improvement on. Um, you know, as far as, you know, the physical, um, you know, the physical area of the game, I, I also feel like I made some strides. Um, still, like I said, there's always things to improve on, but that's, um, you know, that's why you have the summer, that's why you have the fall to improve. So, um, you know, it's been a good spring for everybody, and now we go back to work. How's your relationship with Kirk? I mean, uh, coaches talk about leadership skills. That's obviously something that he's got that you can learn from. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't think of a better person to, to be behind and to have it as an example for me to to learn from it, to be a leader. Um, he's a guy that he has a relationship with everybody in the locker room. Um, and, and in my opinion, is if you can if you can have a relationship with everybody in the locker room, if everybody knows that you're going to go out there and fight for them and have your back, then you're going to have that confidence of everybody in there. Um, and they're going to be, and you're going to be somebody that they know that they can count on. So that's something I've I've been working on and I've taken from him is is just to be somebody who can be counted on and be reliable. Um, that way, that way, when it comes down uh, to crunch time, that the team's going to be confident that they have the right guy on the field. What is the senior core of wide receivers capable of accomplishing this year? I think there, I don't think there's a ceiling. Um, you've, you've got Keyshawn, who's got maybe the most speed in the Big Ten. Um, BJ, who's a handful of catches with being the leading receiver in Michigan State history, and that's that says something right there. If you think about the great history of receivers we've had here at this program, and if he could be the leading receiver in history, um, you know, it's just exciting to see what they're going to do this year because they've improved, um, you know, every year since they've been here. And this being their senior year, um, they're just going to work that much harder and prepare that much harder to have a good year. How have you prepared, you know, because you're just one snap away from, you know, being that starter? I mean, how have you prepared even more this season if you have to fill that role? Um, a couple weeks ago I was at a uh, at an event where the mayor of Detroit, Dave Bing, spoke and he spoke on the P principles, and in the P principles, he said, "Where um, proper preparation prevents poor performance." So I'm just I have to prepare myself every week, like I'm going to be the starter, and like I'm going to have to play um, every snap. If I feel like I prepared myself the very best I could, and I prepare like myself, like I'm going to take the first snap of the game. Um, you know, then I'm confident in the fact that whenever, if I have to go in and if something happens and, and the team needs me, then I'm going to be ready to go out there and, and I'm not going to let the offense fall back or take a step back because Kirk's not in there um, because that wouldn't be doing my job. I have to be just as productive as Kirk is when I'm in there.